and then nothing went to plan. What's up, Nation? Today is a very exciting day. We are finally going to try Jollibee. Leah has been wanting to do this for a long time, and yes. we are finally doing it today. We've just heard so many good things about it that it's kind of like the McDonald's competitor here, mm -hmm. and we just want to see what it's all about. <laughs> but first, we got to catch a bus in Cebu mm -hmm. City. This is about to get interesting. Mm -hmm. Now we're catching a bus at the Hitchhiker bus station. So we're here waiting for the bus. Um, you don't, you can't really like buy a ticket. There's no really set schedule. You just kind of have to wait for it. So we've been waiting here for like 10 minutes. Thankfully there's some shade and some other travelers did the exact same thing we're doing. So we're not alone. Yeah. You gotta come in. Uh, oh. <laughs> we made it. We got my snacks. We got the best seat in the house. Yeah. Now we're trying to head to Jolly Bee. Whoa. The past 24 hours have been ridiculous. Last time you guys saw us, we were in. Wall Wall. We were looking to go to Jolly Bee in Cebu City. It was going to be an amazing day. Everything was planned out. And then nothing went to plan. So we had a reservation in Chargat, which we'll tell you about later. We'll get to all the fun stuff that we're doing here, but first let's tell you about what happened. So we got on the bus, we hitchhiked. And then we went to an ATM to get money out so that we could then buy a ticket to come to Shargao because we were told we didn't need a ticket in advance. Yeah. So we went to one ticket office. There are two ferries that come here. The first one was sold out. The second one said it was sold out. And so we waited in this like queue area for the tickets and somehow we got one. I have no idea how. We have no idea how because literally online it said it was sold out. So we were, like all the ideas that are coming across our heads like we aren't going to go there. There's only one daily ferry to the island. Like we're not going to be able to make it mm -hmm. until they're saying the 13th and that's the day we we're trying to leave the island. Me and Leah got in the car, and then we decided, oh my gosh, it's fresh out in Super City, we're never gonna get anywhere. And so then I was like, okay, ditch this. So I jumped out of the car, the driver was like, what's going on? Got on the back of the motorcycle, went straight to the airport. Leah turned around, went back to the pier to try and make the ferry in time, because we only have an hour to do this whole thing that should take three hours. But I got to the airport, got my bag, got back on a bike, got back to the pier. With, we, I was an hour late. They told us to be there at 6.30, but the boat didn't leave until 8 o'clock, so I don't know why. So I was an hour late, I got there at 7.30, we thought we missed our ferry, we thought we were gonna make it yeah. to We Chicago. thought we weren't gonna be able to board, yeah. you know. They were like, it's really strict, you need to get here on time, yeah. like definitely not past seven. Yeah. And we're here at 7.30, so we were like, all hope is lost. We were texting back and forth saying like, we lost that, it's okay. Like. We're not gonna make it to the shower gal, we'll have to figure something else out. Yeah, and then we got on the boat and we realized we didn't eat anything all day. We were completely defeated. <laughs> we were gonna try and sleep on this boat for four hours before we got to, I don't know. Anyways, got some rest, got on another boat, got to the island, just came in here, our nice Airbnb, took a four hour nap. And now here we are. Yeah, here we are. It's been very chaotic. We're gonna take Tickety Jelly Bee, show you all the crazy Filipino food, but it didn't work out. But anyways, enough about our day. We are gonna go take you to see the sunset on cloud nine and then hopefully find some cool Filipino dinner. Yeah. Cannot figure out the store is like separated. What is going on? I think I'm just gonna like it from the inside. And this is the bicycle that we're renting from where, from our guest house. We'll name her Patricia. Okay. 
Okay, so as you can see, the sun sets behind us and the beach is like a five minute drive away from our place. It is amazing here. The palm trees are giving me like this Pirates of the Caribbean 2 vibe. <laughs> if you've ever seen the scene where um, Orlando Bloom is fighting Johnny Depp, like as they're on the wheel going through the beach, that's what it feels like. It's like the secluded Baby island. Kid over here. Seriously, it's like the secluded <laughs> island. I did not expect it to be like this at all. Yeah. I was expecting it to be more like a Bali place, but very jungly. It's pretty cool. And this is where we're watching sunset. It's low tide right now, so all the rocks are exposed. I'm gonna go out in the water and chill out. It's a little bit rocky. I think we got out here just in time for low tide. The tide is rising, it's coming in. What? This is just otherworldly how all these rocks are so high. I met Leah in Washington and there are a lot of tide pools there, but it looked nothing like this. This is super jagged and this is even crazier considering that people surf right here. This is so interesting. All the creatures are coming back to life. Are these like worms? This is certainly not the most pleasant beach for like relaxing. But apparently this beach has the best surfing in all of the Philippines. That was crazy. I cannot wait to come back here and chill out for a while. Yes. But we are hungry, so now it's time to find some dinner. So we are here, we came to the pier, and we are going to try some halo halo. I think that's how you say it. We're having dessert before dinner because we're really hot, and I hope this ice cream cools us off. Yeah. We are at our first Philippine bakery. We've heard so much about this. It's about to be amazing. Okay, so what does this appear to be? Bread. Oh my God, it's a bit of some it smells like a cream, but it's kind of like baked into it. I don't know what it is, but it's good. When I got a brownie, we have not had any good brownies since we've been on vacation. I've gotten it six times now, so. Serious brownie? Definitely number one, super moist, super chocolatey, and the nuts make it amazing. Now we're going to get some hala hala. We have no lights. It's okay. It's a really good camera. I can see you. And then this is the mix of beans, Ooh. coconut strings, and the corn. Okay. And then the sugar. And then the ice. So, ubi. And then next, the milk. And then the corn flakes. The crunch. Yes. That's it. <laughs> wow. Can everyone see? Hello, in the Philippines. Hello, hello. First time. <laughs> First hello, hello in the Philippines. So we mix it together, and then it's like a no cone drink. I like the corn flakes. I know. That's gonna be the best part, it's a crunch. Can I have a selfie with you guys? Yes! Of course! <laughs> Three, two, one. Those cornflakes. And the corn. This is probably unlike anything we've ever had before. It's really, really good. And really fun. There's so many different ingredients. Oh wow, it's like creamy. I thought it was gonna be ice creamy, but this is like snow cone with cream, and then the jelly. There's so many different consistencies going on. <laughs> you feel like a party in your mouth. <laughs> okay, so we were gonna eat some Filipino food. However, it rained and like everything around that place closed. <laughs> so we're back in the touristy section now. We might have some Tex-Mex for the first time on our entire trip. They've done this pretty well. I wouldn't say it's exactly Tex-Mex, but these sauces are hot, put together, it's good. 
we're so full. Thank you for this really weird vlog that we didn't know would be this weird. <laughs> Things just kind of happened way too fast for us to film anything today, yeah. and I would have been really upset if we had missed the ferry yeah. and Zach was vlogging the whole time. Yeah, it was and like I was a trying to get die. my bag. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we promise to be better next time, but tomorrow is going to be an amazing day in Chargal. Yes, thanks for watching. <laughs>